this is not financial advice. I just hope you bought your oven, Miss Baby, because it's about to get hot in the kitchen. And I had to wear all black today, baby. It's time to kill it. Now, let's get it. And the first banger on the list is Coinbase, ticker symbol C O I N. And currently, they are $200. $88 a share and they're down 6% on a day. Now we seen this dropping from a mile away and I posted it up on the discord and I alerted everyone over there and some people told me that they shorted the stock and made some money on the way down. So major salute to my discord people for that. Now hit that discord link in the top comment if you're trying to be up on the plays as early as we are and hit the Weeble link so you can load up on some free stocks and make some money while the market is sideways and down. So now Coinbase is down 12% on a week. And let's talk about it. What's going on with them lately? This is what's happening. Coinbase, and this is kind of explains why they've been dropping lately. So here we go. Coinbase stock, and this is an article by Market Watch, and they said this. Coinbase stock falls towards the fourth straight day in a row after its first non-bullish analyst starts coverage. Now, who is this analyst? It's Dan Dolev. And they said this. He broke ranks with his Wall Street peers to become basically the first person to initiate coverage on Coinbase that was more negative. He gave it a neutral rating and he gave it a 285 price target for one year from now. Not today, not tomorrow. One year from now, he's saying this thing is going to be 285. So what you got to be on the lookout for is, okay, it's about 288 or so now. It might be different by the time you're watching this, but is that going to be a strong floor for the stock? This is a chance for you to see how it reacts, if it breaks through, or if it bounces off and gives you a chance to load up before it goes forward. Keep in mind, literally every other stock analyst that rated this was just riding the coattails and it was in love with Coinbase stock. And I'm going to explain. The price targets on this, the low, I just told you. 285 this one is real recent and then the median is 479 and then the high is 650 now this median the 279 that's a 63 percent increase from now to next year and remember the average return on the stock market for the last 100 years has been like 10 percent so most stock analysts think this thing is going to kill the game and six wall street analysts rated this one five of them said Five out of the six said it was going to be a strong buy at the current prices. And then it was in the 300s then. And then one said, hold on to it. And then that was the one that gave it the 285 price target and said, nah, in a year from now, this thing is going to be 285. So how do we play this one? We already know what time it is. When I see a price I like, I strike. But guess what? We can't use that with this company. What we got to do is strike days this company when you look at the charts it doesn't have any real support lines yet it's too new to do any reasonable technical analysis on this to determine strike prices or to determine that we're going to strike to own it's too new of a stock the valuation is still too high we got to see what they actually got and what they're actually doing as a business so now how are we playing this one we're going to use strike days the same way we've been doing it from day one strike days meaning you're going to strike on specific days maybe you buy one stock on friday maybe you buy one stock on monday wednesday friday again and again and again until you have your position built out however do not go down with the ship on a company like this meaning put your stop loss on it you don't know what it's going to do in the long term because it has not been out long enough like a company like apple where you could predict the movements of the stock now let's get to the next banger on the list and the next banger on the list is charge point ticker symbol c h p t now what's going on with charge point let me tell you what's going on with charge point is this they actually were featured in an article more recently and it was positive very positive article and this article was actually posted by barons and barons they basically said this they said and the article was titled four ev charging stocks that are at fire sale prices fire sale prices and they included charge point as the main one they basically said this was the main one and they gave three reasons and the first reason was it's down basically over 40 percent from its all-time high and its 52-week high and that was $49 so it's down a lot giving you a better price to get in and ride the slingshot straight to the promised land baby I'll see you there if you'll see me there let me know in the comments and then what else the second reason they said the business model is on point and because EVs and the EV sector is expected to grow 10 times by 2030 and we already know what time it is figuratively speaking with that 2030 vision we already know so now this they specifically said this 
there are about 1.5 million EVs in the US right now, and this is expected to go to 15 million by 2030, if not even sooner than that. And then the third reason that they said this company and companies like it are a steal right now is the government is coming to assist them and help them to just strengthen their business model, even though it was already strong. And ChargePoint has 73% of the market share. So that's basically means that this company is a banger. We already knew what time it was though. Now it's getting more positive press. So the government, we already know Joe Biden is trying to push for a $2 trillion infrastructure bill, but 300 billion of that is specifically for EVs and incentives and tax incentives to help with the infrastructure plan for the EVs. So now, how are we gonna play charge point? Let's think, how do the analysts feel about it? And then let's assess what they do and then make our decision somewhat with that in mind. So now, here we go. The analysts are saying this. They saying the low for this is gonna be 28. So now you gotta keep in mind, they don't got a crystal ball either, but you gotta use all different forms of data the news, the technical analysis, the analysts use all of that together and even more. And then you say, OK, is this a good entry or not? So now here we go. They saying on a low, we're going to do 28 by next year. And then on the median, they saying it's going to be 39 by next year. That's basically a 2x from where we are now. And then they're saying on a high, it's going to be 46 dollars a share now we already seen this run up to 30 31 we even seen it run up to 49 so we know what it can do so then they gave it a strong buy there were four analysts who rated it three of them said buy it now one of them said hold on strong and then let's get it how are we gonna play this one this one we actually gonna play it with a strike price aka if i see a price i like i strike and if i don't we pass on a play there will always be another play now the first strike price is 21 dollars you could currently buy it between right now and 21 it can be your range but if you see it hit 21 baby bow we strike in and then if we see it pull back a little bit more to 19.99 this has been a very strong floor in 19 dollar range bow Wow, we strike in there too. And then you want to be prepared, not surprised. You may never see the third strike price again in your life. But again, you want to be prepared, not surprised. What are the five P's? Proper preparation prevents poor performance. Say it with me again. Proper preparation prevents poor performance. You want to be prepared, not surprised. So it's $16.99. If you see that, it's really time to load the boat, baby. Bah, bah, bah. And then ride the wave straight to the promised land. I'll see you there. So then when we getting out of this one, you can hold on to this play charge point for as long as you hold on to your EVs. But if you get in, you got to be able to hold it for at least a year, at least one single year, preferably as long as you hold on to Tesla and as long as you hold on to Neo, because this company is kind of like the replacement for gas stations. If you invested into a gas station long ago, guess what? It wouldn't matter what company was the dominator. It wouldn't matter if it was Ford, Volkswagen. It wouldn't matter if it was whoever. They all needed gas the same way that all of these cars are gonna need to charge. And ChargePoint currently is by far the biggest charging station in the game. Now, let's get to the next bang on the list. And this is actually a bonus. And the bonus is Ethereum. Now, just today, with Ethereum hitting their all time highs recently, they're cutting into Bitcoin's dominance as a cryptocurrency. And CoinDesk, they just posted an article and they said this Bitcoin's dominance ratio fell below 50% as Ethereum hits record high. Now, why is it important? Because Ethereum is a cryptocurrency, for those who don't know, kind of like Bitcoin, but it's not the same. They're not even in the same lane. Ethereum is valuable because of smart contracts. That's what they call it smart contracts, aka. You can make a contract and make something valuable that previously would have had no value. This is why you're seeing these NFTs, these non-fungible tokens, where people are basically buying like kind of pictures, but it's built on the Ethereum blockchain and then it gives it some rarity. And then people like to buy things that are rare, so then it gives you some sort of value that wasn't there before. So Ethereum can kind of create value through these contracts and Bitcoin can store value so they're not exactly the same thing that's why you hear a lot of people saying you know what i invest in bitcoin but i also invest into ethereum too so how do you play ethereum the only way to get into something like this is the dollar cost average in i don't know who said it it was one of these youtubers it might have been meet kevin or somebody like that but i swear that he said that he either buys bitcoin every single day for example maybe he puts a thousand on it every single day or whatever it is but it was one of them videos and he said you know what i'm just buying it every single day maybe it's 50 who knows what it is but 
he's using strike days but except his day is every single day our day might be monday wednesday friday or maybe friday next friday friday after that friday after next now that's how we're gonna get into that dollar cost averaging other than that i love y'all hit them links in the top comment but if you can't handle the heat of these hot stocks then stay out of the kitchen and consider investing in the index funds take care